I just come out here and the squeezing air is just whooshing right down through here. And it would squish down like that because of the pressure. It always comes from the southeast. It always comes mostly in the spring. And sometimes the winds can be 200 miles an hour. I usually walk down into the harbor of Granitang because that's where the winds are the strongest. And once coming back from there, I got blown right flat on my belly. And as I was floating down the road on my belly, trying to hold on with my hands, my feet would lift up off of the ground and literally flap. I felt like a flag. Leo Chaisson, like many local residents when they know a Suet is coming, close the shutters they have on their homes and move their cars into a sheltered spot out of the way of the southeast windstorms. So when you know that there's a house is coming, in case the power goes off, I fill the tub there for the toilet and everything, and then I fill buckets in the kitchen sink there for the water to cook and everything. And when I was a child, about 11 years old, there was a big southeast. So in the forenoon, we were upstairs with my mother. mother my mother was uh, spinning yarn. Uh, and we were upstairs, myself and my brother with her. It was blowing pretty hard. So my f brother looked outside and looked at the window. And he said, look, Moses' house is, is gone. No, uh, it was on a little hill. So he said, Moses' house is gone. building the second part of the, the, the shop here, the top part, the bottom part was all done. We were building the loft. It was all finished except for just the plywood, the sheeting on it. It was all braced and, and we got this, this southeast and at around one o'clock in the morning, the shop was gone. <laughs> 